Bonjour, bonjour Leslie, comment allez-vous euh, Bonsoir VGV Chanel. So tell me a bit more about, uh, about yourself and uh, if you've got any, any questions regarding your uh, French studies, I will be happy to uh, answer. I only discovered, so Leslie saying, I only discovered this channel yesterday, so amazing. Well, I'm happy that, that you found uh, the channel, that you found me. Um, tell me exactly what you want to, to do, I mean, f I mean exactly what, what you would like to, to learn, and uh, I might be able to, to guide you in the channel, because... Well, I've been making quite many uh, videos, and um, I don't know. It depends exactly what you what you want to achieve. So, uh, tell me a bit more about that, if you want. Bonsoir à tous, euh, Eden, salut à tous, salut Eden, comment allez-vous euh, Alors, VGV Chanel uh, is telling us, me too, before I only know the fantastic video made by us, oh là là, merci beaucoup. Euh, alors, Leslie, oh wow, I live in South Africa. Very keen to take up French after having solidified my German of the, uh, over the years. I am eager for a new challenge. Okay, so uh, well, in that case, uh, Leslie, I would definitely advise you to uh, have a look at the, the series that, uh, that is called Learn French in Five Days. Try to find uh, the latest version. Or well, then if you go to the, the main page of the channel, you will see uh, that I've been organizing the videos by, uh, by units. So you can just uh, follow them. Um, I tend to be quite precise when it comes to, uh, to the, the, the grammar. So uh, this is the reason because I think that it's extremely important when, when you learn a, a language to be able to, to learn the grammar, to be able to structure uh, your thoughts and, and make sentences properly. So um, if you do, uh, if you if you follow the, the path, I mean, it should be it should be okay. You should not forget to, of course, uh, look at uh, other resources and 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 work also uh, with other. Uh, I mean, I guess videos, teachers, or or, uh, or books, and uh, it will go perfectly. Don't worry. But trust me for the grammar. I mean, for the grammar, you can trust me. Uh, it is quite solid. Alors, Leslie is telling us, complete beginner, finding the approach with modular videos and focusing on important aspects such as grammar is great. Well, <laughs> in that case, you found the right place. Uh, piling on too much content without structure in, is never a good idea. Um, your approach is excellent. Merci beaucoup, Leslie. Um, Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's always good to, to try to follow some kind of path and and, uh, and try to have a certain structure, especially with the, the, the language. I mean, because it's it's uh, it's extremely it's extremely difficult to, to, to grasp if you start to go uh, in all the directions uh, uh, at the same time. Alors, Leslie continues. Uh, I am busy watching your videos at the moment, slowly, bit by bit. Do you teach over Skype by chance? Apologies if I'm ignorant as to what to do. 
Um, yeah, for the Skype, uh, uh, I I uh, I used to do uh, much more um, more more Skype uh, teaching. Uh, lately, I've been starting Zoom uh, lessons, so with uh, several uh, several students at the same time also, and it's um, and it's really it's really nice. It is really 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 nice. So uh, that's that's uh, that's the way it goes now. Um, but Skype is possible. It's it's a bit more uh, more demanding in, in terms of time, and and I'm working quite much. So um, it's it it would be possible. You 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 could go if you want to contact me. Um, well, also I've got I've got a platform, and it's a uh, French four four as a number me dot net. Uh, you can uh, you can go there, uh, and you can contact me if you want, and uh, we'll see we'll see if. Uh, if uh, it's possible. Alors, Amada Lebeau, your voice killing me. I prefer you put someone else speak. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Amada. I've got my voice. <laughs> um, well, I mean, we've got the voice that we have. So if you don't like my voice, then I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's difficult to answer to that, Amada, you know. But uh, I'm sorry if, if you don't like my voice. Uh, Leslie, uh, sorry, <laughs> I am taking up all the space on the chat. I mean, it's okay, don't worry. There are some days like like today when it's okay. It can be a dialogue, don't worry. Alors, Leslie is, say, is saying, Zoom is cool. I am also a teacher, music. So, due to the COVID matter, most students are now online. Yeah, it's true. I think Zoom is quite uh, is quite quite good. I mean, I used to. To uh, to have um, Skype as a, as a tool and uh, and it was I mean working quite quite okay too but uh, but Zoom is uh, is extremely simple I guess and, and practical and uh, and the fact that it can be used on well several platforms and there are many options that are really really good. Uh, Tamara, uh, oh you have a beautiful voice. Have you worked in the radio? Uh, <laughs> I well, I don't know how what to say uh, because uh, Hamada told me that my voice is terrible, and then Tamara is telling me that my voice is nice. Well, <laughs> it's my voice. Um, I I have been making some uh, some some radio things uh, in the past, but it was always in parallel to to my uh, to my uh, my teaching. Uh, my teaching experience and uh, but I've been recording quite much too for uh, for my videos and uh, and I've been recording quite quite many things just the the, the audio track for uh, for uh, things that I was producing but uh, educational material so uh, that's probably the reason why I don't know I mean well I mean I've got my voice sorry <laughs> alors Chick wrote something and then <laughs> removed it, so I I don't know what it is. Uh, alors, Leslie, your voice is amazing. <laughs> Relaxes the mind, so one can focus and not be too anxious to learn. Uh, I'll definitely look at your platform. Thanks for the website. The YouTube channel is uh, excellent. Uh, what do you do in life? Do you teach full time? Again, I'm in ignorance. Sorry, I had no problem. No, no, I'm. I'm a, I am a teacher. I've been uh, been teaching, uh, well, for more than more than twenty, twenty, twenty five years now. So uh, yeah, I've been doing that for for uh, for a long time. Um, and when it comes to well, I guess to my style, if we talk about the style, yeah, I tend to to. I don't like to stress. Uh, students because uh, well this is the way I do I do it so I think that especially when you start to explain uh, uh, grammar and uh, dry topics like that I mean it's better not to try to uh, to stress people with the uh, with the thing so um, that's that's my approach and uh, same thing I mean I don't uh, I don't show my face and I don't really think that it's uh, it, it it helps to to to, to show myself when I explain grammar things. Alors, Melting Ice is telling us what language do you speak other than English and French? So Melting Ice, I will probably surprise you, but I speak 
Finnish. Finnish, uh, the language that is spoken in Finland, which is a really, really tough language to learn. I used to um, to speak German uh, because I studied German uh, uh, when I was uh, when I was studying in high school, and then, um, well, I didn't really practice a lot, so it's really, really far away. And even before that, uh, I've been studying. Uh, ancient Greek, which was not really useful because basically uh, uh, modern Greek was different than uh, ancient Greek. So, um, Lady Gabriela Ramirez tells us, "What do you? What would you recommend me if I want to learn f for French for tourism?" Yeah. Um, so Lady Gabriela Ramirez, it depends what you what you really mean by that because French for tourism, do you mean that you want to travel or do you mean that you want to work in uh, in this uh, industry or area? Um, the, the main point that you need to remember is that in, in, in all the cases you will have to, to learn the language. So you will have to learn the basics and you will have to learn uh, how to construct, uh, um, I mean, sentences, how to structure your mind, how to explain things. And, and, uh, and usually next to that, of course, you can, uh, you can start to learn uh, uh, vocabulary, spe spe special, uh, special words connected to tourism. But it's something that you will have to do in, in parallel. So clearly, you will have to, to, to learn the structure first and, uh, and work on quite many other aspects like trying to understand people because if you want to interact with people, you will have to work on, on that too. So it, it's really a learning the language in a, in a normal way plus uh, having some special words and, 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 and after that same same approach try to construct try to to, to communicate and and practice that way and it will work alors suzanne b bonjour vincent je vous écris du venezuela bonjour suzanne b can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and uh, if you've got any questions regarding your uh, your french uh, your french studies alors leslie oh wow that is Great. Dry topics are terrible. <laughs> Making it relevant and structured is the best approach. You speak Swami, Tottakai. <laughs> oh, wow. Too difficult for us average individuals. No, no, no. I mean, everyone can... Uh, well, it depends. This is the way uh, life is sometimes, you know. You've got to learn languages. Uh, well, in that case, it's just for ma family reasons. So this is the reason why. Alors, melting ice, that's very awesome. Well, I don't know. I, I think it's, uh, it's, you know, it's really funny because, especially with these language questions, because for, for me, of course, uh, English and uh, uh, Finnish, in that case, or even German, I mean, they're, they're uh, um, they're not native native tongues when you when you when you have uh, children and they've got two 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 languages it's always interesting to see how they will cope with the, the two languages and 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 to my point of view this thing is really really interesting and awesome alors Jaime nous dit bonjour Vincent bonjour Jaime i hope you're doing fine um Tamara <laughs> what is this bloody human running over the video saying someone has subscribed yes i know <laughs> it's uh it's a zombie so i will change i will change the zombie it's just that each time somebody is subscribing um uh, to the, the the channel uh while we 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 are talking now it will appear like uh, like that so uh, if you're not subscribed and you, you subscribe, you will see that uh, your name uh, will run uh, with this little zombie. Alors, um, Melting Ice, would you consider teaching us other languages in this channel? Um, to be totally frank, no. No, because I, I think that... Uh, um, it's extremely difficult to, 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 to do something uh, properly 
so uh, it's it's really you know it's my job and and uh, and i think that well it's already a, a challenge to 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 teach properly things so i i would like to uh I would like to to to, to continue that way, um, starting to teach. I mean, I don't know Finnish or English. No, because they're not. Uh, I I I have the feeling that I don't master them that well, to be able to uh, to teach them. And there are many many people who are doing a really you know a good job teaching English or uh, or Finnish. So I I will just continue the way I uh, the way I do and uh, and continue teach. Uh, teach French Leslie Roberts Finnish lessons coming up soon as well no sorry Leslie <laughs> but uh, but uh, you know if you if you look and as I said if you look uh, 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 on YouTube I mean you will find uh, some uh, some Finnish teachers and, uh, and some Finnish lessons and uh, they will be uh, they will be nice Papillon 17 Papillon it's a nice uh, It's a nice word. Bonjour, j'ai une question. I am listening to you, Papillon 17. Go for it. Alors, papillon 17 or papillon 17 is asking c'est quoi la différence entre je dois y aller et il faut y aller. Yep. So the, the, the concept, and it's quite interesting because if you think about that, you've got two verbs in that case. Uh, the first one, je dois y aller, it's the verb devoir. And if you look in the dictionary, je, devoir, it's must or have to. And then in your second uh, question is il faut y aller. And in that case, the verb that we use is falloir. And falloir, if you look in the dictionary, it will be must or have to. So you will tell me, yeah, but so they, 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 they mean exactly the same thing. And in a way, yes. And in another way, no. In the first sentence, so first, the thing that we need to understand or to know is that in your second example, falloir, the verb is what we call impersonal. So it means that this verb won't, I mean, you won't be able to conjugate falloir for the first, second or the other person. So you don't say je faut, you don't say tu faut, it's not possible, it's only il faut. And it's impersonal what does it mean it means that when you use il faut it will apply to everybody it's for you and it's for me and it's for the others so it means that when you say il faut y aller basically you're just addressing to all the persons that are in the same room as you or then a certain person that will have to go with you or everyone will go with you so it means that it's not you're not looking at somebody and, and you're not telling to this person that you have to. Okay, so it's this one has to, everybody have to. In the second uh, uh, or in the first sentence, when you say je dois y aller, in that case, it's really I have to go. So you just say that it's, it's, it's you. You have to go. Huh? I have to go. You can put, you can conjugate that uh, uh, at all the persons. So this is the slight difference between uh, between the two. Falloir, it's quite uh, practical when you want to say that somebody has to do something. Uh, but basically, you don't want to, to, to point uh, this person with your finger and say that you have to do it. By saying il faut, in that case, it means that everyone has to do it so even you alors Jaime is saying I love the, <laughs> the zombie <laughs> uh, yeah well I will change the, the, the thing it's ah, is running again I will change the thing if I find something uh, 
something uh, nicer. But a zombie is following you uh, by definition. Alors, uh, Papillon 17, does it have difference in meaning or one is more French than the other? No, uh, so if, if uh, my explanation was not uh, clear enough, tell me and I can make it longer, but I think it was, it was enough. No, no, it's just a question of... Uh, of uh, using an impersonal verb or not, uh, so uh, both of them, both uh, both of them are uh, extremely French. Alors, uh, Tamara is saying, si je dis il faut que j'y allé. Alors, be careful because uh, Tamara, you want to play with the structure il faut que, and when you start to play with the f il faut que, then you will have to put the subjunctive after that, which is a bit tricky for the verb aller, because for the verb aller it will be aille, remember, a-i-l-l-e. So you would say, il faut que j'y aille. And in that case, it's a third option, so you decide to use this expression, il faut que, and then you personalize it with the je, okay? But then the only thing is that it's a bit more tricky, you will have to use uh, the subjunctive. Alors, Zou A Noun is telling us bonjour à tous. Bonjour Zou A Noun, how are you? So tell us if you, if you have a, a question regarding uh, your French studies or a, a comment or whatever. I mean, you can, you can express yourself. Alors, Leslie is asking, oops, my message I sent has disappeared. Aha, uh -huh, I didn't touch anything, honestly, <laughs> it's not me. Uh, how does the French for Me website differ to the YouTube channel? Are we able to contact you directly via the site? Uh, so yeah, to answer your last question, yes, it's possible to contact me uh, via the site. So there is a... You will see at the, the bottom of the page and then in the menu you've got a, an option to, to contact me, so it's possible. Um, the difference between uh, the, the frenchforme.net uh, website is that, um, well, basically first the, the, the curriculum is, uh, is uh, <laughs> the zombie ate my message, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so the, the, the curriculum is approximately it's more precise let's put it that way so the the curriculum uh, uh, on youtube uh, is like half of what you will get um, on frenchforme.net uh, plus all the rest because i thought it was a bit uh, limited and it was a bit uh, um, difficult to only only limit that with videos so I wanted to be able to produce uh, PDFs to produce uh, online quizzes to produce uh, also iBooks ebooks apps I mean all these things that that you cannot offer I mean on uh, on YouTube so uh, it's a much I mean richer experience so you you, you have much more tools uh, to to uh, to learn uh, to learn French and and well I, I am back in in YouTube now I was uh, I was away for uh, for a while but uh, it's because I've been producing much more for the the platform so now we'll try to produce for YouTube and for the the, the platform but my 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 main focus in terms of uh, uh, new production for the curriculum is for uh, frenchforme.net uh, Papillon 17, merci pour l'explication. Well, I hope it was, it was clear enough, hein? Papillon 17. Leslie uh, Roberts, how, how often do you host live sessions on YouTube? Um, I mean, these, these are questions and answers, I started that um, last week. 
and um, because I thought it might might be interesting to be able to open some kind of channel to just answer to your questions regarding uh, French learning. So uh, so it's supposed to 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 happen uh, every every evening at the same time. And um, I mean evening or depending where you are. So uh, I will do that uh, regularly. If if nothing happens, and and let's hope nothing will happen, it will be every day from uh, from Monday to uh, to uh, Friday, and then uh, it will be between forty five minutes to to one hour, depending on the on the the, the, the interaction with people. In fact. Alors, Suzanne B. J'ai étudié les langues modernes dans l'université, anglais et français, et je parle espagnol et d'autres langues. Suzanne B. continue. J'ai fini mon université en 2011. Je ne pratique pas le français maintenant, mais c'est pourquoi j'étudie avec toi. J'adore votre chaîne et votre contenu. Merci beaucoup, Vincent, pour tous. Love you. So Suzanne B is telling us if I shall uh, resume fast that she's been studying French at the university, English and French, and uh, she's also uh, fluent in Spanish, probably in other languages, so she likes languages. She finished the university in 2011, and uh, she doesn't... She doesn't well, use French nowadays, and that's the reason why she wants to study with me, and she likes uh, my channel and my content, and she thanks me for that, and I thank you for using my content, Suzanne, I, I hope you enjoy it, and um, and yeah, if you've got some, you know, questions or suggestions, you know, uh, I'm, I'm always uh, keen on the uh, on, uh, on having some new ideas and fresh ideas if you have some needs and you get the feeling that I didn't produce uh, I mean certain videos or certain material uh, just ask and I will be happy to do my best Leslie uh, where in France do you reside if we may ask your manner of speaking is beautiful definitely how I feel most people would like to sound Alors, in fact I was um, I was I was born in this area that uh, we call Pays de la Loire in uh, in France. Um, basically, if you want to visualize it, it's between uh, well between uh, Paris and uh, Bretagne, this Brittany area um, near the Atlantic. So um, this area is uh, is considered. I mean, it, it, it was and it's still considered by uh, the French Academy as uh, as without any 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 accent. So it it should be the the way uh, uh, that French should sound without any accent. But of course, I've got people coming from uh, different uh, areas of uh, of uh, of France, and uh, I consider that they've got accent, and of course, they consider that I have an accent. So everything is uh, is uh, is relative regarding this uh, this this concept, obviously. But uh, so I'm coming from there. I have been studying and living in uh, in Paris, and I've been living in uh, in different parts of the world. And, and right now I'm not living in uh, in, in France, and uh, just between uh, between three countries. So, but uh, I'm coming from uh, les pays de la Loire. Alors, Leslie continue. Okay, great, thanks. I will definitely contact you via the site, eager to continue with more material. Thank you for the great work. Well, it's my pleasure, Leslie. So if you found something that you like and if it helps you to learn French, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. So, so that's it. Uh, Trans Benefit DZ is telling us, Hi there. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, thanks for your help. It's my pleasure to help you. If you, if you have a question, uh, no, no, no problem. Um, Papillon 17. Je suis très inspiré d'étudier le français, mais malheureusement, il faut que j'étudie le néerlandais. Il n'y a pas de si bonnes vidéos sur Internet pour le néerlandais que les vôtres pour le français. C'est triste. So it's sad because Papillon... Well, I mean, apparently needs to to learn Dutch, but uh, 
he or she is frustrated because uh, he or she thinks that they don't have uh, good uh, Dutch videos for, uh, uh, for I mean, learning the language. It's really sad, yes, yeah. I mean, you, you, you took the time to, to, to look or to search. The thing is that it's, it's a lot of work, you know, Papillon D said. It's a lot of work to make these videos, so of course it's... Um, if people don't do that uh, for their uh, living, um, well, usually, I mean, you, you need to really, really put yourself into it, so it might be the reason why. Alors, Trans Benefit DS, DZ nous dit, is telling us, if possible, join the conversation for practicing is useful. But yes, of course. So where are you coming from, uh, Trans Benefit DZ? Alors, Ah, Arnaud Kundou, bonjour. What do you mean by je me vois arrêté? Yeah, so it's, it's quite interesting, this structure, if you think about that. Because basically, je me vois, if you think really about the concept, it's I see myself. And then after that, you've got the verb arrêté. So it's just I see myself stop i consider that i will stop if it does answer your question but remember that in that case it's really this this reflexive concept now it's like i i see myself doing something so i consider doing something melting ice is saying hi vincent may i ask when do we not use liaison <laughs> alors Melting ice. If you look uh, on the on the channel, and if you put uh, the keyword liaison uh, in the plural form, so you should put the s uh, in the end, you will notice that I've been making. If I am correct, uh, uh, I wanted to make three different videos. The first one was cover covering the the, the 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 liaison that you should definitely make. The second video is covering this liaison that basically you can decide whether you want to make them or not. And the third video, obviously, <laughs> it's not a surprise. You uh, you could consider that the last uh, liaison is the, the uh, sorry the last video is the liaison that you are not supposed to to uh, to make. So you've got these three videos. I think that uh, uh, you should definitely watch them. Take some notes. Consider that I mean, for this liaison thing, of course, it's important. But uh, if if you've got a doubt, then in that case, it's probably better not to do it, huh? rather than than doing the, the the liaison if you're not really sure. Okay, but watch the videos, and um, and I think it will answer your uh, your uh, your question. Alors, uh, Leslie. I agree, that would be amazing. Ah, you would like to, to, to practice French? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I might, I might, um, well, it would be interesting. I, I might make some, something in, 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 in French. I mean, totally in French, it could be, it could be possible too. Uh, but we've got also the, the Zoom, uh, Zoom lessons that, that we started uh, last week. Uh, it didn't take place uh, today. Well, for, for, I mean, personal reason, it was not possible. Uh, um, but uh, but definitely it's, it will start again uh, tomorrow and, um, and will continue. So these Zoom lessons, I mean, the concept is mostly to, to uh, depends. I mean, there were some times when we had, I guess, last week, maybe between 20 to 30 persons so but i will i want so i, I usually i i list the name of participant and the one who really wants to 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 read and uh, i offer each of i mean each one of them to 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 read and i correct because this is usually something that is extremely difficult to to do on your own so they're they're good for that i think the the zoom lessons can be really good for the phonetic aspect of the the language Alors, Arnad is asking, can I say, je suis arrêté? Yeah, you can say, je suis arrêté. Alors, I don't really want to go into details because it might be boring for a lot of persons, but remember that the verb arrêter, hein, 
if you want to conjugate this verb in the passé composé form normally you will use it with avoir so you will have the form j'ai arrêté hein? i have stopped but in that case if you start to write this structure je suis arrêté it is totally different because this is what we call a passive form i am stopped all right so you can see the difference between uh, between the two huh? so in that situation je suis arrêté it's what we call passif présent all right same thing here if you want to 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 have more information uh, arnad i have been making videos covering the passive form okay so you can go there have a look at the video and you will see that even this passive form can be conjugated in different tenses as in english you can say i am stopped i will be stopped i was stopped etc okay alors melting ice i see thank you my pleasure melting ice Arnad Kundu, what is the difference between je me vois arrêté et je me suis laissé arrêter? <laughs> you want to go uh, you want to go in the details. Uh, well if you go if you go in the thing, I mean it's the same concept as uh, as what you, you had previously. Hein? Je me vois arrêté, I see myself arrested. Je me suis laissé arrêter. It's basically you want to say that I, I, I decided to let other people arrest me. I just decided to let them do it. Okay. Alors, Sundos Bechre. Hi Vincent, what's the situation de temps comme simultané? Simultanéité? I am not sure if I understand your question, Sundos. You want to talk about two things that are happening at the same time? Or, or because if, if you are talking about two things that uh, are happening at the same time, this is what we, what we call um, gérondif, but, but I don't really know if that's what you want to say, Sundos. Alors, Tamara, what are your favorite books? Hope it's not Balzac. <laughs> now, it's funny that you say that, uh, Tamara, because, of course, uh, right now, my mom, she's, uh, she's at home, and, and it's not possible, you know, in France, it's not possible to go outside. I mean, not at all. So people don't see each other, and it's a bit challenging. And uh, she, 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 was, uh, she was hoping, I guess, to get some audio book. And uh, well, the first audio book I, I sent her, it was uh, it was Balzac because I thought that <laughs> it will keep her busy for a while. Um, I'm I'm not such a big fan of Balzac, but I think it's interesting. I mean, really, he had uh, he had an interesting approach of different things, but uh, but I don't really know. I used to like a lot. Uh, Philippe Gian as a writer, I think he was he was really interesting. Uh, Amélie Nothomb was uh, was 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 good too. So uh, and it depends. It depends on the on the time. Um, if I if, I, if something comes to my mind, because I mean when you ask like that, I mean of course you don't remember anything. But I will I will tell you. Suzanne B, uh, thanks a lot, uh, Vincent. I consider that your uh, teaching method is great. Thank you very much. I am learning every day with you, and I am improving my French noticeably. This is nice, huh, Suzanne. So, so really, really. If you've got any question, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't hesitate. Alors, Papillon 17, c'est quoi ex exactement? Je m'en Fou. Alors, je m'en fous. It's technically you could uh, you could translate it by I don't care, but let's say that it's a bit stronger that I don't care, uh, because I don't care could be like je m'en fiche, um, but it's it's exactly the same meaning. Uh, Papillon uh, seventeen. You should remember that 
all this level of uh, languages, uh, it's really important to know exactly when to use what and, and with whom. So this is the point. Je m'en fous, you can use it if uh, you are with friends and if you really know that it's informal and, and, and people are using this kind of language and it will be totally, totally okay. Um, if you want to be a bit less strong, you would go, as I said, for the je m'en fiche which would be a, I mean, I guess it would be, it would be probably better, um, but still it's quite strong. So be, be, be aware and be careful with these, uh, these expressions, but it's, I don't care uh, technically if you want to translate it. Suzanne B again, uh, what I love uh, is that you give us tips and observation about important things that we must take into account in French when it comes to grammar, pronunciation, etc. I do my best, Suzanne. <laughs> um, yeah. Now the thing is that I've been I've been um, I've been teaching for a, a, a long time, and 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 well, yes, I've been having different type of of students, and and I noticed that they were struggling sometimes with different uh, different things. Um, so of course, it's always you know shortcuts or, or little tips or, or or ideas or especially anticipating the, the the questions or the the difficulties that you might you might have this is the point uh, of uh, trying to give you that with the videos because uh, i know that it might be coming in your head uh, when i try to introduce some something alors leslie my wi-fi cut out so i didn't catch that answer but I will contact via the website. <laughs> okay, uh, Leslie, no, no stress because the, the, um, this uh, this video will be uh, will be available right after. You know, I will when we'll stop the the the, the podcast. I mean, the live podcast. After that, the video will be uh, will be there on the channel, so uh, you can uh, you can hear my my answer if you want. Alors, Federico nous dit « Salut, je ne suis pas habitué de votre chaîne, mais merci de faire ça. Tu habites où ?» um, Well, it's my pleasure, Federico, Federico, to, 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 to offer you the, 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 the channel and the videos. Um, so where do I live? Où est-ce que j'habite? I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm living between uh, between uh, well three three cities. So uh, I'm between uh, Paris, uh, Helsinki, and and uh, and New York. So uh, I am I am traveling uh, from one city to another. And uh, and that's it. But uh, well, of course, I'm I'm coming from France in the, in the first place. That's what I, I was explaining uh, earlier in this uh, in this podcast. Alors, Sundos 
Bêche nous dit « Je parle sur c'est quoi la simultanéité, l'antériorité, la postériorité et comment je les utilise. » So in fact, I mean, I, I assume that you are aware about the, the, the main concept of uh, these things. So simultaneity is something that will, I mean, things that will happen at the same time. Anteriorité, you're talking about something that happened before. Posteriorité, something that will happen after. Uh, so in that case, I mean, the best option would be to go to the channel once again and uh, use these keywords and you will see that I've been covering these topics, I've been making some uh, some videos and uh, because it's quite complex and especially it would be uh, it might be boring for the others <laughs> and uh, and you might want to 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 take some uh, some notes as well so soon those I mean go to that uh, the channel and uh, and uh, find the videos and you will see that uh, well I think I mean these topics are not really tricky to 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 master so it, it should be uh, it should be okay And I guess this is it for today. Uh, so it's the end of the live uh, podcast. And uh, well, it was really nice to discuss and uh, chat with you. Uh, I will uh, definitely... Ah, uh, what Tamara wants to discuss. So you are in Finland. You've probably seen polar lights. Yes, I have. And what is the very situation uh, in Helsinki? I think it's the same as uh, everywhere in uh, in Europe. The exception, I guess, is Sweden. They've, they've been having, well, their personal decision not to not to ask people to stay inside. But here it's the same. It's the same as everywhere in in Europe. I mean, we we are invited to to stay uh, to stay inside. Uh, it's not as as terrible as uh, in the south of uh, of Europe or or even in New York. I mean, in New York, it's it's really terrible. So um, so it's it's. I mean, it's still okay. Let's see how the the, the wave will impact uh, the Nordic countries. We'll we'll see that soon. So, but uh, but that's it for today. Thank you very much. So enjoy uh, your evening, morning, or or night uh, uh, and uh, and uh, we'll see tomorrow at the same time and uh, thank you very much goodbye mm -hmm.